What is up, peeps? This is Fuller in TCG. Let's welcome you back to another YouTube video. And uh, we got spicy stuff today, boy. Uh, we have a very interesting deck that has actually been provided by Captain Flamion. So sorry if I butchered that name wrong. <laughs> but this deck is really intriguing. Um, it is a Turbo Marshadow Machamp Tag Team GX Mischievous deck. Mischievous? No, Miss Magius. Sean, make sure you're right. But yes, with that said, uh, we're going to be testing out this deck to see how it works. I do want to make one quick uh, point, though. Throughout this whole deck, everything seems perfect. However, I noticed one Scorched Earth. Now, this, of course, has rotated out of the standard format. And this whole deck seems to be designed for standard. The only expanded card in this deck is the Scorched Earth. So I'm assuming they're looking to do a standard build. Now, to make sure that we actually get the uh, right format, what I'm going to do is I'm going to remove Scorched Earth and add Heat Factory. It does a similar thing, so it shouldn't be that big a deal. And I'm assuming that's what he was looking to do, was kind of Heat Factory there. Um, so that's what I'm going to do, considering this whole deck looks like it's just straight standard. There's no real um, tropes or staples in the expanded format in here. So if we play an expanded, we could come to a disadvantage against a lot of uh, um, expanded decks. So... I thought, okay, let's just make that one change. I know this whole series is about not changing the deck and playing it as you've provided it, but that is something that I feel is just completely necessary so we can play in the right format. So that's all I'm going to change in this deck, um, just looking at it from there. But I really want to give this a shot and see how it goes, so <laughs> let's do it. I was saying this in stream yesterday, but I think I have about, like... 300 odd decks that I can play in the standard format. So when I'm trying to find a deck to play, I sit there, I'm scrolling for like half an hour. Just going, come on, come on. Shh, let me find the deck. So yeah, that's that's a bit of a pain. I need to clean it up a little bit. I have so many decks in there now, which is stupid. And I'm pretty sure half of them are just not usable because they were just me testing with another deck. Right. I don't know how I'm supposed to play this deck. That wasn't a how pun. Listen. <laughs> All right. That wasn't a how pun. Okay. I just, just. Yeah, let's not go there. Um, yeah, I don't know how exactly this deck is meant to be played, if I'm going to be honest. But it seems like a counter game type deal. Um, but I didn't see counter game. Okay, if I'm looking at the deck itself, what it seems like, because when he did speak to me about the deck briefly um, in some of the comments that he's left on my videos, he mentioned Rainbow uh, Brush being a big play in the deck. So it seems like what this guy's looking to do here is get a Marshall and a Champ and really dig for welders um and i think revenge doesn't activate with the mystery uh, no it doesn't so um wait if any of your pokemon were knocked out during damage your opponent's attack oh yeah so yeah the mischievous does activate revenge um wait no it doesn't no 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 by damage from an opponent's attack it doesn't sean make sense please right yeah so we made sense of that so it's not that angle but what i think uh, he's trying to do here is attach for turn Use two fire energy with the welder and to attach and rainbow brush the um, fire energy for a fighting energy, thus having a turn 100 blows impact, right? That's kind of what I think they're trying to do. And I think the mischievous is just aiding them in achieving that. That's what I'm suspecting. So let's go for a Cynthia here and see what we get. Obviously, we're not getting the turn one attack here, unfortunately. Um, but we just do what we got to do. Let's get that down. And I think we just pass. We have to hope this Machamp doesn't go down. We can Heat Factory? We can. We have Fire Energy. Yes, I didn't even see that. Yikes. Um, I, think that's the, I think that's just a pass right now. Um, so this is, this is a bit of a learning curve for me when it comes to the deck. But that's the whole point of the series, right? It's a bit of a challenge for me as well to try and tackle it. Um, how you guys have intended. Um, and of course, whenever you do provide a deck... Um, I think this was this was actually really well done um by oh sorry i completely forgot your name um the person whose deck i did first i'm gonna go back now because i don't want to sit here and just go i don't know who you are of course i know who you are I just don't remember <laughs> right it is uh isidro that's the one isidro he left a very detailed comment about how the deck is meant to be played and stuff. So if that's something you guys could do, that would be really dope. Because it can give an in-depth analysis behind it. Which is really, really helpful for those who want to play it. So if you provide a deck, it would be helpful to also uh, leave a comment in the video. Just kind of describing it a little bit. If you want to, of course you don't have to. I'm not forcing you. Um, but yeah. All right, let's go for another Heat Factory here. See what we pull. Um, Ace of Roller. I wonder how Ace of Roller is meant to be played in this. Again, quite interesting stuff. Um... Do I pay the Brooklet Hill? 
I think we have to, you know. I really need to get a um, champ down because I'm, I'm scared they're going to go for like a KO next turn. All right, let's do that. Let's just go for revenge. So, slow start. Let's do that. Um, I think what the... I think what you... I think... Okay. I said I think about three times in a row. God damn. Um, I think what he's trying to achieve is the turn one uh, Miss Magius play. Activate Surge. Use Welder as much as you can. And then Rainbow Brush as much as you can. And have effectively, ideally, two charged up Machamp. But it seems like that's what he's going for. That's what I think at least. But let's just see what's what's the deal here. Now, this deck's weird. Uh, the one we're up against. Because it's not really necessary using Blaziken. Because you can just use Naganado for the same effect. Okay, we don't have Welder here. So we can't use... So we don't have the fire energy for Welder, so we can't use Ace of Roller here effectively, I'm afraid. So we might have to just attach here for turn. Right? That's what I'm thinking, at least. Just to guarantee the KO. Then we Poke Gear, Cynthia. Right, 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 right. Let's do that. If we find a baton, that would be dope. We don't, but we do get this bad boy. And we can Poke Gear for. I'm gonna fail that because I want this mischievous to work. So I'm gonna use the sorry, the Miss Magius. I'm gonna use the Miss Magius. That really didn't aid us in any serious way. It's a bit of a shame. Right, let's. Oh, I wish I could do the GX attack. Okay, we'll leave it at that. That's pretty decent. So a bit of a slow start for the deck so far. They do need to charge this up, so they do need a welder and attachment for turn. But yeah, what was I saying about their deck? I mean, they don't necessarily need the Blaziken. Naganado does pretty much the same thing and is a stage one. You could attack with Blaziken and have some good spread. But you could also attack with Naganado. Although you don't get spread with it, you can still hit some decent damage. And also hit really strong damage if you have free prizes. So I think Naganado is just a far better alternative to a Terminator deck. Especially when you get to use things like Mysterious Treasure and all that. Like, that's a really good a good thing. Unless they're going for the green. Okay, that makes sense. They can just green for the Blazikins and stuff. That that does make sense. Okay. For the setup. That's true. That's that's something you can consider. Right, we're going to use their own Heat Factory to our advantage here. <laughs> I mean, we've got it. Why not? Um, oh, here we are. We're actually going to go see the, the, the very play that I think he wants us to achieve. Although, I wish we could just double up on this, but we can't. I would love to just ace a roller, attach, and then double welder. But that ain't going to happen here. What I am going to do, though, is welder. We don't need to use the rainbow brush yet, because one fire is fine. And attach here for turn. Choice band's kind of a dead card. The dojo. I think we're, I think we're okay using the dojo, to be honest. I think we just leave it at that and just go for another 100 blows impact. There we go. There seems to be a lot of utility in this deck, which is good. We have to see how it functions to determine whether or not there's too much going on. But I can understand the greens because the greens can get you the welders for the next turn and stuff. And that can help out. If that's the case, if you're, like, you're really relying on welder to set up the play. Because I, like, I really like the idea of using welder or rainbow brush. Like I think that's a really cool idea considering... You, you only need to use one rainbow, rainbow brush to be able to use the 100 blows attack because you can still have one fire attached and still be able to use these attacks so long as you just have two fighting, right? So we'll go for another one. Um, so if the goal of the deck is to pretty much welder and rainbow brush to get a turn one Machamp, I think you could really narrow that down if that's what you're trying to do um and just go crazy with the four offs right and add fiery flint and stuff to guarantee you get it and use the greens and stuff as well to help out but there's very interesting very interesting stuff going off here because i think the great thing about the greens in this deck is if you do use miss magius first um and you get to use surge you can surge use greens get a welder and get what and use welder right so it's a, it's a great option for guaranteed supporters um post rotation this is interesting as well um, because you've got the likes of Magneton, which can get you a bunch of supporters and can use Surge as well. So you could use Magneton to get your welders and just bang, bang, right? Which is going to be a crazy combo. <laughs> um, this, but this is, this is very cool. And I love the idea behind this. I think it's very unique and creative. 
So we'll have to just see how it unfolds in this matchup. It's good that we got a win on that one, but let's find out what we're up against here because it's going to be another toughie, another tough doozy. I say it's going to be a toughie, but I don't even know what deck we're up against. This looks like Garchomp though. All right, let's see what we can do here. Um, let's go for the Mischievous and Heat Factory first before we go for the Energy Spinner. Ooh, something's gonna happen here. Okay. Uh, we can use the Miss Magius, right? Attach for turn. We got the Surge in hand. Ooh, this is interesting. Use the Miss Magius. Now we can Surge, right? Greens for Welder <laughs> and use Welder. Or, yeah, we can. We can get the turn one attachment here. Let's play Surge. Let's play Greens. Let's get Fire Crystal to get the energy back. And Welder. Obviously, we're going to need the Rainbow Brush. But I want to guarantee the double attachment here with the one in the, with the energy in the discard pile. And then if we find a Rainbow Brush, that would be really good as well. So let's do that. 100 Blows Impact. Ready to go so long as we find the Rainbow Brush. Which we don't, but that's fine. Next time we've got that. Hopefully. <laughs> um, and I think we just pass, right? Good turn one start up though. Good turn one. Good turn one. Sweet stuff. Sweet stuff. And this is like, you could, this is, this is a lot of potential. You can do this with loads of decks. There's loads of decks that require a single energy plus a DCE. And you could just take this route, right? Where you just welder and attach for turn and it does the same thing. You could charge up in a single turn, right? And some attacks that would take two turns to charge up. So cards like Lycanroc GX could be just incredibly more powerful, which is something I'd love to look at as well. Um, but yeah, there's loads of cards that definitely pay off that wouldn't really work before just because Welder exists. So that's really cool. Um, and I like, again, I like the Rainbow Brush. It really does add a bit of extra flair to it, if I say anything. This is a bit of an awkward... Oh no, that's bad. Oh dude, we have no way of dealing with that. Guzma is our only way. Even this, this little bad boy can't do anything. Oh no, we have no way of dealing with the Hooper. So this deck is an insta-loss to Hooper, pretty much. We'll have to see what we can do. But it does seem like a bit of a tough, tough, uh, tougher situation, aren't they? Right. They're going to attach. We get the KO. Pretty much guaranteed. Oh, we can surge again. Yeah, we can. Oh, yeah, 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 we can. But, like, is there any point? If we get the gear, yes. Oh, we got the gear. Except it doesn't really <laughs> help us here. Um, we can attach and attack for guaranteed KO. The Guzma doesn't really serve us anything well currently speaking so i think we just attach here and just are they gonna chaos next turn that's a big bet we have to take here i don't think they can so i think we're just gonna do this but the issue is man that that hooper is just staring us in the face and that is just the feet looking us in the eyes oh lord <laughs> <laughs> oh how are we gonna deal with this i don't think we can oh wow they do have the guard chomp though oh lord that's that's pretty that's pretty dope is there a because i know this hooper is being rotated is there another card that has this has this ability oh wait is it um keldeo isn't it doesn't keldeo have this ability keldeo gx am i right is it keldeo i think i was streaming yesterday and some people mentioned keldeo but i, I completely ignored what they were telling me when they said it what, what it does i think it's keldeo isn't it oh lord oh that's bad they're just gonna pass um we need uh <coughs> we need to switch a rooney we need to switch so we can goose the switch we do play Power Pad, though, so there's still some hope. There's still something worthwhile. Because um, we can use our Guzmas and Power Pad them. We have to just do that. Like, there is a way. When there's a will, there's a way. But, yikes. But one thing we know for certain is the odds of them using Hooper to attack is quite slim. So, they can hold us as much as they want to. You know, we might, <laughs> we might be in a weird scenario where we just have to let them play out and almost deck themselves out. That's something we could do, but that's going to be very boring. It's just like pass, 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 pass. And uh, hopefully win. <laughs> That's how these games can go. Especially when it comes to time played as well in PTCGO. Bear in mind, they have 21 minutes left. We have 22. If it's a stalemate for the whole time, um, and they just keep the Hooper in the active and don't attack us, then we can win. But we just have to pass, 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 right? That's assuming that they don't come into the active and attack us. But if they do, they don't have the KO. The Royal Blades, even when used will not KO us unless they use Shrine to kind of mill us down a bit. So we have protection from that. Um, plus we have our Acme, which I just I just keep thinking is Acne. <laughs> Acne GX. 
<laughs> oh, so stupid. All right. Um, with that said, let's go for the Cynthia. We, I don't think we go down that strategy yet. We still try and figure it out. We didn't get the switch, so that's the case, unfortunately. Right, we're just going to attach here for turn. Just pass. Just pass a Rooney. They need a switch or something. Which they can't get. Oh, no. Not the Lucario. Please. No, no. This is bad. Lucario pass a Ranguru. Now, that is consistency. I wouldn't say the Ranguru is needed. I'll be honest. In a Garchomp deck, there's no room for Ranguru, man. Like, Lucario is going to do the, the Ranguru job, right? You don't need really incredible draw when you've got Lucario's out. This, this could be a very long game. <laughs> Oh no. So, how are you? <laughs> I hope you're well. <laughs> oh lord. Okay, what did they get with that Lucario? Probably a Lily? What? No Cynthia? Unless they got really important cards in their hand like that red candy, and in which case that makes perfect sense. I mean, come on. Right. <laughs> it's just past town, buddies. It is past town. We could Poke Gear, but no. He's playing his deck. We're just going to pass. Now, if it goes to the case where they just leave the super in the active, I'll just skip. I'll just like fast forward all of this for you guys. And it'll get to the point where we're like, yeah, we won. Or, hey, we lost. No, no. If, if, if it's a loss, it's a loss, unfortunately. But again, if they're just not doing anything, we can just pass and win. We've got the counter to the shrine. That's fine. That rhymed. Oh, that rhymed. Woo! I'm huh, MC. I'm a rapper, man. Parappa the rapper. Step aside, buddy. Oh, you can tell I'm getting, you can tell I'm sitting here struggling, man. <laughs> you really can tell, can't you? All right, they're going to come in and attack for turn four, 200 damage. Uh, at least they just give us a chance to attack them, and we can use our GX attack, actually. So, by all means, buddy, you've now just allowed me to play, which is great stuff, and I really get to just <laughs> take the mick a little bit here. Um, well done, well done, well done. No, okay, sure, fine, fine, do it. Just... Sure, okay, fine. <laughs> Let's go for a fire energy here. Do we need to bench this? Not necessarily. Do we hold our hand? Because we could ace a roller next turn, and that would just be so annoying for them. Yeah, we hold our hand. We're going to go for Acne GX. I think uh, Machamp needs some lotion. <laughs> Let's just hope that they they just, they just can't do anything crazy here, because then we could just ace a roller attach. Fresh, right? Just fresh. Fresh off the bat, another Machamp. And uh, that's, that's going to really take the mick. Now, have they registered what our GX attack is yet, considering they're promoting this Garchomp? Because if they attack us, right? Oh, no. Unless they get Shrine. Shrine would really seal the deal for them. Shrine would be like it. So we have to hope they don't get Shrine. Please. No, please don't have Shrine. I just realized how important it is for them to not... Oh, wait, they can get Shrine with Lucario! No! They got the Shrine, huh? What's going on? Oh, they didn't get the shrine? What? How did they get a KO? Yes! I'm just stupid. Thank God, I am stupid. I thought they got the KO. I genuinely thought they had the KO for a second. I was like, hang on, did I miss something? Get out of here. Go on, get, get. <laughs> Woo! Okay. I wonder if revenge activates from that. No idea. Not even gonna question it. We're just gonna be like, Whoa! I'm so excited. That was crazy. Such a crazy turn. Okay, okay, okay. Calm your horses, Sean. It's it's not the end yet. Not the end yet. Oh my god. We are like, we're, we're doing this. We're doing this. We have Guzma. We could. There's not really anything else we can do. Really, we need Switch to really utilize that properly. But hey, we have Guzma. <laughs> and they still have, again, less cards in their deck. So it could just be the case where they mill themselves out and that's how we get the win, right? Because looking at this, we are on the road to win. That's crazy. That's just, that's, 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 that's crazy. That's stupid. Go crazy. Go stupid, right? Yes. Good stuff. Good stuff. I'm happy. I'm excited. <laughs> this is going incredibly well. How of all things? That's an interesting choice in the deck. I guess um, it's just a guaranteed top deck draw so they can just get a big hand. I guess what that's what they're trying to do, but don't really support the how, to be honest. This is uh, this is looking very good, very very good. I'm really excited now, um, because I genuinely was like crushed as soon as I saw that Hooper drop. I was like, oh lord, it's like the end of the world. But dude, by all means, stay there, 
That's fine. I'm just gonna pass. I'm not even gonna try. I'm not even gonna try. If we can just charge this thing up in a few turns where they can't do anything, that's a Guzma play, mate. And that's just going straight for the Lele. So, by all means, mate, just, just take your time. <laughs> take your time. I don't think they get the chance to KO this thing even with a choice band, right? Because they're gonna be hitting 230. Unless they drop a Diancy, considering they have the fighting type. Um, but that doesn't seem to happen unless they play a Kakui, which they might do. I mean, they're playing Howl, all things, so they could play Kakui, right? So, right. That could be a problem. But I think that's going to happen. Oh, dude is absolutely screwed. Haha! <laughs> Why did I touch the fire? I don't know. That's fine. We good. We got the rainbow just in case, but I have this, so we're good. We good, man! We've got double Guzma for game in our hand. Oh, dude, we've worked around it. We're actually going to be working around this Hooper. That is sick. I mean, let's be real. I don't think that's much on my part. I think they just didn't navigate the deck properly. I don't think this deck is... The Garchomp deck is the best possible Garchomp build. I think this Oranguru is just a waste of space, personally. A bit of a harsh opinion, but you don't really need it if you've got stuff like this. It's a victory! Come on! I'm happy with that. So... I think that is uh, an equal representation of the deck. I do have a few suggestions on the deck. Of course, leave your suggestions in the comments down below uh, so we can improve this deck in any way possible. So, first idea, Diancy Prism Star. Will that have relevant numbers? Possibly, because that can bring you up to 180, 210, which can one-shot a lot of tag team, uh, sorry, a lot of stage one GXs out there um, that you might be coming up against. So there's that. Um, I would say it'd be a really good idea to try your best to fine tune this deck a bit more. Um, I really like the idea of using Miss Magius and Greens and, um, and Lieutenant Surge, but it does seem like you're trying to do two separate strategies and combine them into two. Um, so, you know, it's, it's, it's like you're going for the Miss Magius and Greens type strategy, um, which would actually work probably with counter gain um, just as equally. Um, or you're trying to do the Weld away. So it's like, I think what you can do is kind of just fine tune it, as I said, and narrow it down one of those avenues um, and maybe focus a lot on using Welder and Rainbow Brush um, and less so on the Miss Magius uh, type engine. Um, that's, that's an idea, just to try and fine tune it because this deck does run really well and I like it and it does do what it needs to do. But I feel like there's a lot of one-offs um, that could cause some problems. And there's some stuff that could be really well used in the deck that aren't in here. So an example would be Fiery Flint. That would be a really good card to use in here because once you've got your welders in hand, you could use that to just get stuff, uh, energy into your hand to really, really maximize the, 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 like the one-turn charge-up for this card, which is I'm, I'm assuming is the main trope behind the deck is just to charge this up rapidly and use it quickly so if you're trying to do that then it'd be a good idea to use fiery flint and stuff again utilizing rainbow brush would be good so you could even go down a jirachi ending and uh jirachi route considering how many items there are so the idea is absolutely creative and i love it and i think it's a really cool idea but i think there's loads of ways you can do this and again that is a, a really great thing but with all that said, let me know your thoughts down below. And again, thank you uh, for providing with the list. And if you do want me to play one of your lists, go over to my Discord. The link will be in the description for you. And just submit your deck list by copying it from PTCGO, pasting it into my deck list suggestions tab over on Discord. And uh, I might give it a look, a little bit of look-see. But with all that said, please do take care. And of course, peace. Bye-bye.